You mean DBS can suddenly sees patterns no one else does in live streams? That sounds paranormal. Don't leave me hanging. It's not magic. It's a clever trick. Local updates keep density maps current, so fleeting clusters don't evaporate between scans. Wait, wait, wait. DBS can reprocessing isn't that slow. How do you update without reclustering everything every time new points arrive? You stop redoing every point. Instead, you maintain connectivity with an Euler tour structure that lets you splice components cheaply, updating neighborhoods fast. So it's just a data structure speed up? Sounds like tinkering. Won't that break DBS can's density idea or give weird false clusters? No, crucial bit. Density estimation stays exact for local neighborhoods, so you avoid global reprocessing but preserve core, border, and noise labels. But anomalies are tiny, rare signals. How does this not drown them in noise? Does online DBS can even pick one-off patterns? There's a variant that tracks microclusters and transient low-density pockets. Sudden local density spikes light up like neon, flagging rare events quickly. So this helps IoT sensors, fraud streams, even live security logs? That would catch sneaky tiny attacks others miss, right? Exactly. Euler tour trees keep connectivity so updates are local, cutting per update work to polylogarithmic time, letting brief clusters be detected before they vanish. Wow, so we get accurate density with tiny compute, meaning real-time IoT fraud and security can actually run DBS scan live, not later. If you want more tricks that turn slow algorithms into live detectors, follow us. We'll show code, diagrams, and messy hacks that actually work.